Hello guys, so we don't have as much time today, so we'll just be going somewhere nearby, probably about 20 kilometers from here. It's just uh, the place where I had my first accident as a cyclist here in my adult life. <laughs> so, so we're going to Antenna Hill. It's a pretty steep climb but very short since I don't really have that much time. Well, this is uh, one of the advantages of riding a road bike kasi maliit yung kanyang span or yung wheel makakasingin ka sa mga ganito mga spaces so actually through traffic you can squeeze yourself everywhere you want to go pero syempre dapat magingingat ka Bago ko simulan mag cycling this year Actually, mas malimit ako nagja-jogging. Pero yun nga lang, kapag nagja-jogging ako, may clean distance lang na makakover ko bago sumakit na ang tuhod, yung katawan, ganyan. So, what I really like about cycling is, ayan, makakatravel ka ng malayo-layo, tapos makakita ka ng mga magandang mga tanawin. Sana may share ko rin sa inyo kung ano yung mga nakikita ko. No? So, thanks din to my parents na Nagbigay sa akin ng GoPro na to. Shout out sa kanila. turn lang natin sa Manila East Road so dire-direcho na to tapos hanapin na lang natin yung isang turn sa isang barangay kung saan natin makikita yung antena hill actually dito pala makikita mo na yung antena hill kaso nga lang ayan sa taas yan ang aakitin natin ok hey guys here it is you will see how steep this climb is. So take it slowly, hopefully. It just gets steeper and steeper. May sipan ko rin bumuelo dito kasi nga lang. Maraming humps actually, so hindi ka rin talaga makakabuelo hanggang sa makarating ka dun sa kung saan magsastart na talaga yung steep climb. The 
trees are hiding the snow. <laughs> you can see how scary it is. First time ko makiyad dito, yan, dito ako tumigil para magpahinga. Kasi hindi ko na talaga kaya dito sa may poste na yan. So kumain muna ako. Tapos saka nag-continue. Pero patigil-tigil pa rin. Ito naman, usually ang tip kapag umaakit ka tapos mag-turn ka, usually dapat gubit na ka kasi doon mas gentle yung slope. Mas mahirap actually doon sa kabit sa side ng mountain bike. Tapos ito naman, pakaliwa yung curve. So dapat na doon ka sa right side ng road. That's the first time I did it. No stopping. Ah. It's a fantastic view of the Laguna de Bay. Hi. You see crosses along the way on both sides of the road. Oh. You might be asking me, why the last one will go and overtake the slope? The reason, because Jen is pacing. Kapag nagmaintain ka na mabagal, sinusundan mo lang sila, mahihirapan ka umakyat talaga. So, kailangan niyo maintain yung pacing para makakyat na mas madali. I saw the same page before. <laughs> this is on the way to Antenna Hill. So, mababa na talaga ang cases ngayon sa Metro Manila. Kaya, marami-marami na mga tao mahita ngayon dito. Ayan. Tsaka mga bata din. 
So uh, hopefully we are seeing the light at the end of this pandemic. Like we see the light there. <laughs> Pauwi na ako, pero nakikita nyo na gravel to, hindi kakayanin ng bike ko, baka madulas ang madulas, at pumutok pa ang aking tire, so I just walk down this gravel path, and then when the road comes, Here I want to accompany me sa pagbaba Kasi actually mas madaling umakyat Mas madaling control ng bike Pero ito pagbaba Talagang kailangan i-control ng speed Hindi talagang mawawalan ka ng control sa mga curves So you really need to watch out
Grabe pa uwi Sana hindi tayo gabihin So I just arrived and he, look who I met along the way. Zion, say hi. Shout out to Kenino, Kinaaw. Yeah, my blockmates. Blockmates. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sige. All right. Signing off. Bye bye. Good night.